hello, it's still morning, it's Sunday, and it's the 30th of January 2022. Um, I had, have been reading out of Lydia. Lydia is a story about reincarnation. Uh, it is a follow-on story from Bliss Afterlife, which was the start of it all with Bliss passing away after her 95th birthday. This is a while ago now, and uh, the first reincarnation which was born was Lydia. Lydia was the uh, reincarnation of Alexei, who was a Russian uh, entrepreneur. Uh, Lydia is now, uh, well, she, had, she must be about six months old here. And uh, I am continuing now with chapter 49, because we are well into Lydia. And it is a continuation. It's the list. Two months had gone by and the list had been divided slightly differently than originally decided. Some questions were easier to research than others and they involved far more people than they had anticipated due to the unusual nature of the matters Mio had raised. The list of subjects seemed really complicated and a little obscure to most of them. Each had taken a copy of all the 20 subjects in the end and had decided amongst themselves who was best in finding out what had been asked of them. There had been much conversation amongst each other. Pete was loving the research. He took number 13 as Melanie was busier than she thought, using her particular insight into things where Mio could assess, assist a little. Chris was happy to look at number one, two and four. He felt his politi political interests would make this fun. Evelyn was much into food and diet and straight away took number three. David had already read The Only Planet of Choice years ago and still had his old copy which he had lent to Tony after rereading it. He had started to feel excited as soon as he saw the list and picked his subjects. David went for 17 as well as that number had intrigued him for years, or that question had intrigued him for years. And here is the list <clears throat> which Mio had passed on through Melanie. Number one, who owns the WHO, World Health Organization? What is it representing? Number two, who owns the media globally? A certain who is actually running the various mainstream news services. Number three, what does GMO mean? And what is the research onto this, which you can find publicly? Number four, who is the UN, United Nation? Who is in it? Why is it there? Five, what is the principle of usury? Six, what are the frequencies which enhance health? And what is EMF? Seven, who are the Vatican families? and the Bilderberg Club. 8. Washington DC, City of London and the Vatican. What do they have in common? Number 9. Everyone make an occasion to watch Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. 10. Everybody watch together an old carpenter movie called They Live. 11. We search the cannabis plant, its uses. Apart from the obvious, there's more than meets the eye. 12. Who is Donald Trump? 13. Are there others bringing channeled messages to Earth and what do they say? 14. Make sure to watch the opening ceremony of the Paralympic Games in London 2012. This is this year and it will have been passing. 15. Who was Tesla and what difference, what was the difference about his research in comparison to Newton? 16. Read Our Only Planet, Our Planet of Choice, published in 1993. 17. Check out reports of 9-11 disaster in America in 2201. 18. What do you understand of the fifth and fourth dimension. 19. Tune into the astrology of this planet for the next decade. Find out what is said. 
20. Check for information of alien visitations. 20 points. Chapter 50. December 2021. It had been a busy time for everybody. The last three months had just flown by. They had individually been meeting over this time. The list had proven to be very involved, and whenever anyone had found a lead to the answer or some news regarding a particular point, someone always had to listen. Since David had long ago already done point 16, which was reading the only planet of choice, he reread it and had a lot to say about it. Tony had read it by now too, and they had met with Pete back in August to walk around London, particularly the centre. Peter was completely finished in Scotland, had packed everything up and was now living with Anna at the refuge. Anna had started to look pregnant. It was end September and their baby was due in March 2013. She had a checkup and the due date was 7th of March 2013. Melanie was carrying quite a big bump now. Her little Milton was due in 10 weeks or so and apart from speaking about Milton, Tony and her talked little of, of little else but the list. She had been travelling up to London a few times to meet with Faye, baby Lydia and Anna. They got on so well. Lydia was over seven months old now and very mobile on her little knees. Mio was brought forth regularly. Melanie was able to let Mio help them. It had taken them a while to see where Mio was going with all these points they had been looking at since the summer. Evelyn had been looking into point 11, research into the cannabis plant, and she had been amazed at her findings once she got past the narrative. It seemed to her that the system did everything it could to stop information of healing herbs to come into the open. They had long discussions about this with Don Ying, Fei's mother, when they had been visiting in spring. Anna's parents had come and gone. They had spent a week at Bliss Place by the coast. Anna spent a long weekend with them, and that gave her and Melanie the chance to chat. Both pregnant and there was much to talk about. Melanie had received some info insight from Mio regarding Anna's pregnancy. Hers was to be a baby boy as well, little Joseph, who was young Natalie in her last life. Anna was amazed to get this insight. Little Milton was the soul which never made it when Natalie had her miscarriage. It was almost too fantastic to be true. But both Anna and Melanie knew that it was true. They felt it and it helped both of them to talk about it. Melanie had this vision of her little Milton and Anna's little Joseph growing within them and then later on being little ones. Meeting up in the ether, they were discussing on a soul level the process they are experiencing. When Anna listened to her, she could almost feel little Bot Joseph bouncing around. He has much more room than Milton. Melanie and Anna were sitting at the kitchen table in the refuge. Faye and Ben had gone out for a walk with little Lydia. Peter had taken on some work locally. He was building a loft conversion. He had done the blueprint, but he was also involved in the building of it, because his client was Evelyn. How is Pete getting on with Evelyn's loft? Very well. You do know Evelyn got her inspiration from Susan and her sanctuary up here. She had given him her ideas and Peter had to adjust it all because Evelyn's loft is smaller than the one upstairs. There's no way that he can leave that project. Her house is quite old and I believe he had to be quite ingenious to make the most of the space. She also has one of these Capri balconies now where you can open the V-looks and the bottom bit makes a little patio. Thankfully, Peter's making it happen. Susan is at David's house. They... Susan is at David's house. They have made it lovely. Peter and I went to see them last weekend. Anna was drying her hands. Shall we make a soup? Anna looked at Melanie, who got up to have a look in the vegetable rack. Good idea. Let's put it on the table and trap them. I want to tell you what I found out about other alien visitations. Chapter 51. David and Susan. They had both been working in the garden. David was painting again in his shed and Susan had done a little pruning and cleaned the little summer house. They were walking back to the cottage to have something to eat. 
David had been telling Susan about his findings regarding 9-11 when he met with Pete, the architect and Tony in London. Uh, they had walked around the city of London and had discussed and agreed that the Twin Towers did not come down as it was shown on the TVs. Susan had in the meantime also read The Only Planet of Choice and she loved discussing it with David, who was in his element. The 2012 Olympics had been and they had all made a point of watching the opening ceremony. All of them, only Ben, of all of them, only Ben had continued watching the various competitions, but they had all been astonished about the weird opening ceremony. What would you show children? Uh, and here we are at the end of chapter 51 and I will continue this later. Have a good Sunday. Bye-bye.